These videos are a stream recording hybrid. Random commentary based on the stream chat may be found. Stupid gifs found from the stream chat will also be found. Viewer discretion may be advised. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. So, in the last episode, we made it out of the forest. We had a weird nightmarish dream about symbolism and things. And we found out that you're kind of obsessed with coffee. And in this episode, we're starting to talk to Polly. Oh, hi. If you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. I sell daily goods to guests. I don't have much, but they may help you out. So you're the sales girl, too? Yes, that's right. Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. Don't worry, the service here is just as good as any fancy city hotel. Uh, great, thank you. Oh, all right then. Do you want something? Uh, sure, I can check what I can buy. Uh, lollipop cracker. Uh... So I can go fishing, apparently. That's just something I can do. Alright. Well, I won't do any of that right now. But, uh, wow, that's quite a few stream gifs. They're, they're setting up some stream gifs for my stuff, and it's just all over the place. Is that a man eating another man in Grand Theft Auto or something? I don't... What even has happening? Sorry. First day of investigation. Thus far, nothing. Award payment, $210. Basic wage, and then total funds. Do you want to save? Sure, why not? I... Wait. What? I get to eat people in this game? I'm confused. I, I'm gonna ignore that gif for now until that comes around at some point in the game. The police car. Our office is open from nine to seventeen. Nine to five. Don't be late, Sheriff Gord, Gorge, George Woodman. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. That's nice of him. On the stream side of things, I should ask uh, Ryan. I have to tell you, Zach, this what do you place think I should be doing right simply about now? amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Fair enough. All right, when driving, left trigger is boost, right trigger is side brake, acceleration with right bumper, left bumper is brakes and reverse, honking by clicking the left stick, steering as well with the stick, wipers is the directionals, uh, signaling left and right is also directionals. Don't know why you would need to do that, but I mean, sure, they made it able. Changing view, headlights with X, A to talk, B does nothing, why does change view? And that's all the controls. You got the master key. I. Okay, you got the flare. Apparently, I just took a flare out of the car. Wait, what? Wait, is there. Is this actually first person? I didn't remember this being first person. I forgot this was a first-person thing. I guess I should follow the law and try to drive on the right side of the road. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. 
Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87 minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this what case the, is over, we can the, watch it together. Wait, what the fuck? We can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Okay, I'm confused for a few different reasons about what just happened with my car. It started spinning. <laughs> Alright, uh. I have to ask this. What. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Okay, no, sorry, I had to read something in the chat. Is this actually something, like, are these actual movies from the old days? Are these references to things, or what? Let's just park it right here to make it all, like, oh, we're exactly where we need to be. Where we need to be. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Wait, we're is, supposed to go through Anna movie. Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Greenvale Sheriff's Department. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Country ham would satisfy a moderate amount of your hunger. Uh, are you falling asleep <sighs> standing up? Thomas, right? I think. Uh, uh... Is he stepping on water? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Yeah. Prior knowledge. I knew that already, but, you know, I was pretty... FBI sure. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent... Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... Well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Great. And I remember Zach, the Thomas part. appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Okay. Well, I could call. I could just walk around exactly like this and see how people react to it. But yeah, Thomas... I have a bad feeling that he might not be exactly what he appears to be, because he obviously w had some similarity to her, like some kind of connection to her, just by the intro cutscene. Okay, I can change my clothes and all that. Oh, keys. Long-tailed flying squirrel keys. Uh, alright. Let's look around for more sets of keys. Hmm. I know there are multiple sets of keys in here that I need to look for, and they will give different reactions depending on which uh, pair you give to him. So, uh, apparently you can't go to any of these doors. My god, the keys! Stream chat seems to be recognizing the fact that I'm doing this now. Alright, let's head down. I know there are other sets of keys I need to start looking for, so let's do that. Do that. What? Looks like I can move this. It's up to you, Zach. I have a feeling like you can't. Yeah, you can't. It's up against a... It's up in a corner, so why would it even give me... 
Alright. So, I'm just going to not progress with things as I start doing things. Oh. Striped Squirrel Keys. And also... Why would you want to shoot them in the center rather than the head? There should be a mark on the head as well, but okay. Alright. Let's break these. Let's hope they don't mind me breaking all their stuff. Oh. Auto bullets. More of them. I mean... Always good for me, right? Let's talk to you. This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. A desk for the warden. Is it even used? Doesn't seem like it. I could sleep here if I so desired to. Maybe I get arrested at some point. That'd be cool. Guy in there. Hopefully we'll bring. Hopefully we'll be bringing in the culprit soon, though that'll mean the end of our little vacation here. What does that have to do with? Okay. Oh god, I forgot to sprint. So now it's slow door opening time. Curvy tailed flying squirrel keys. And, uh, hopefully we'll be bringing, okay, don't know why it keeps saying that. Nothing left to do here, apparently. shooting through it. Okay. I love how the FBI custom has infinite ammo. Makes me feel powerful. Which makes me feel happy. I hope they don't mind me breaking all their boxes. I think I have a... I now have like a quarter of the kill count on boxes that I did on uh, those weird shadow things. So, so far I've killed shadows and boxes. That's about it. And fences. A lot of fences. This probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Gray squirrel keys. And actually, the stream chat just brought up a really good point. Why were why was there a set of keys inside the uh, jail cell? A dumbbell. Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zack? Okay, I got a dumbbell named Arnold. Old. I'm assuming that's important either for quest or for side questing? I think it has something to do with side questing. Alright. I can go in here, so let's check out what's in here. Emily's there. Oh, hey, George. What's up? Zach, look at this. Oh, now this is something special. It's the epitome of the old Frontier Sheriff's Office. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. It's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. He just. No one even pays attention to him talking to himself like that. Let's talk to George. Uh, uh. George, do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. 
I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now oh, that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zack. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Oh. Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Well, I found out who was uh, looking for... Yeah. Well, here we are. George has lost his beloved Arnold somewhere in the sheriff's office. You can't train without him. <laughs> Find what he's looking for and get it back to him. Help him get his groove back. Alright, sure, why not? Alright, you want it? Agent Morgan, did you want something? Hey, here's your dumbbell. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Just pulled out of his back pocket. Uh, oh. <laughs> Arnold! Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Arnold Sylvester card. Card. Oh, sweet. So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Sure, why not? Zack? He needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Ah! <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Checking that right now. Have to probably put little things over everyone's things. George lost his favorite general named Arnold. Give it, find it, and give it to him. All right. I will cancel. George, you have anything to talk about? Mm hmm. Fair enough. So, hey Emily, what's up? Hi. Can you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, Agent York, I got my hands full. Can you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the keys to the cabinet with the files and asked me to take a look around the office till he finds it. Well, I hope he doesn't take too long. Alright, well I got a bonus for talking to her. Got 12 bucks just for saying hi to someone, pretty much. Wish that actually happened in real life. Oh, I can't actually. What? Can't leave now. Okay. So I can go through that door, but whatever. Oh, Arnold. Okay, I got Arnold Schwarzenegger, but Sylvester Stallone was something I didn't get. That's what they're named after. Good job, Lily in the chat. You figured it out. You broke the code. I'm assuming that's all the keys I can get. So... Uh, let's talk to him. Agent York, did you find the key? Uh, which one is the correct key so I know which one to choose last? Alright, they've informed me that it's the last one, so I'm gonna do all the ones before that. You found the key! I hope so. Why do I hold it like that? Uh, no, this is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. The sugar glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? Uh, but we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? Okay. Time to give him the next key. Striped squirrel keys. You found the key. I hope this is the right one. Uh, you found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. 
so it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Okay, why would they even have something from Hokkaido, Japan? I mean, really. That doesn't make any sense. You found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? Uh, no. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the US, Canada, and in England, too. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. All right. Why? Fine. Fine. Take this key. And I mean the master key. No, I'm just kidding. You found the key. That's the right one? Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. That's okay. a creepy smile. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. The case of him losing keys. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently Her name graduated was an anagram? high school this year. What? Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? Huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? Very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Yeah, um... I'm gonna say this right now. York is kind of obsessed with food and drink to a weird degree. <laughs> yeah, I want to save. Coffee black makes it harder to become sleepy for a short while and recovers a little tiredness. The biscuit better be good. I, I will say, though, I really like biscuits. Biscuits go with a lot of things. Anywhere from biscuits and gravy down to just biscuits and... The Greenville uh, General Hospital is down the side. road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. 
just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. All right. So let's get in the car. My good friend Ryan says that's a good idea to listen to a conversation they have and then just ditch them. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure. Sounds good. Is there any way to change my perspective? Am I going the wrong way? I'll go like this. Okay, apparently there is a third person view Agent button. Morgan, I can't help noticing you prefer to work alone. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely? Flying all over the country alone? Oh, there we I go. I must say, I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours, right? George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a seasoned professional, uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by a problematic woman. Well, she got you good. Terribly good. It'll fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? It's not that light of a wound. Huh. So, Emily, tell me, and yes, I is am there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to all kinds of problems. Fights, runaways, stray pets. You're too fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. Now, that's what I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Zach, there he is, the monarch in all his glory. Kind of makes me glad that I wasn't born here. Did you say something, Agent Morgan? No, nothing, George. I was just reflecting on a little history. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. Okay, which right now is driving. All right. From the looks of it, I don't need to have them in the car anymore. I'm gonna pause it for a moment and turn the stream. Uh, how do you get out? Get out the car. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, the hospital closes at 2100. Please make it inside before then. Yep, and they just walked there. They can just do that. Now let's get in the car. Okay. I'm in a Grant's house. How do I check this? Okay, that's Nick's house, Greenville Sheriff Department, and his house. Alright. It is directly behind me, one block over. Uh, I do not know if it's going to be an all side quest run, but I would be doing quite a bit if not all. I like being a completionist, it's fun. Though if something is stupidly difficult or just would take multiple runs or would is just something that's so inconvenient to do for video's sake, I probably won't do it now and might come back to it at a later point. Get out of the car here.
Zack, is there something here that you want to check out? They told us to be there before 2100, but don't worry about that. Let's do whatever you want to do. All right, guys, I will be right back. My sister's calling me, which means that I need to go do something. They're drinking that water. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna assume this is the building. Yeah. There, but no way. For anyone wondering what I'm doing here, uh, my friend Ryan said there was something to do here. Oh, here we are. I can see inside. Uh, very interesting. Also, that's a wee bit glitchy right there, but it's whatever. Hello? That's not calling for someone. That's literally just shaking my head. No, I cannot do that. Hello? FBI? It's like 11.30. What are you doing? It's 11.07, but whatever. Uh... It always feels like this door should be open. Hello? You open yet? Alright. Oh, I have no idea what... Am I being trolled here? Is there no actual thing to do here? Should I just stare into the window creepily? Speaking of uh, cigarettes, I definitely don't have any of those cancer-causing devices. Okay. Well, it's now 1.20. Ha! It's open! Hello? Anyone home? Let's hear what this person has to say. Anna, where are you going? Don't leave me. Oh god, she's psychotic. Also, I just smoked for like two hours. You there. Do you know where Anna is? Anna. My dear Anna. Zack, let's do this later. I don't think we'll get anything out of her like this. She's insane. Oh, hey, it's side quest. Number 27. I'd like to ask you some questions about Anna. What the? Anna. Oh, why did she have to die? She was so happy, so full of life. Anna, she loved that dress in the picture so much. She looked so pretty in it, but now she won't be able to wear it again. Yes, that dress. I can't find that dress anywhere. That dress? Her dress. Where is it? Without it, I... She looked so pretty when she wore it for prom. She was the prettiest girl in town that night. So why did she... Where's that dress? Where? <laughs> does anyone? Does I don't think we'll get much more out of her like this. Maybe if we find the dress and bring it to her, she'll calm down enough to talk. I swear, everyone in this game has some kind of psycho. Hello. <laughs> um. Who are you? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. It's what everyone calls me. <laughs> York? Sounds like a last name. Okay. I'm Richard Dunn. I own one of the bars here. It's called Sweary 65. How'd you like the town? Oh, it's great. 
Aside from the murder that happened here. Yep. Murder just doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you on that. Crimes don't care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. Uh, I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? Well, I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. You know, she always stood out, being pretty and all, just like her mother, Sally. You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. I'm pretty sure that I can tell that he is in love with Sally, considering the fact that Sally is... This is Sally's house, and he's just waltzing about it. What does it look like? Oh god, it's green. Can I find anything in here? Locked. I need a key to open it. <gasps> There's a card in there. I want it so badly. Let's see what I can find in this drawer. Look, Zach. It's a picture taken during her prom night. There are no other pictures of Anna in a dress. This blue dress here, then, must be the one Sally is looking for. She that does look like a goddess. I mean, not dressing. Sally was right. She sure is pretty. That smile would make any man turn to butter. Okay. So what we're saying is I can't find a key in those drawers. Alright. Well, I have to head out of here. And not into there either. Maybe into here? Uh... Oh. Anna's dress. Well, Anna's dress. Zach, this is it. This is the same dress as the one in the prom picture. Let's take it to Sally. Well, I found Anna's dress. Even though I for some reason thought Anna was spelled A-N-A -N -A and not A-N-N-A -N -N -A because I'm pretty sure that's Anna. But, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, stabilizer. Better just steal someone's drugs. Like in all video games, you just steal from them as you wish. What's in here? Is it okay just to go through people's houses like this? I know I have FBI and all, but... I mean, this just kinda seems messed up. <laughs> oh god! I just put on the dress and walk up to her. <laughs> oh no. Did you find her dress? Yeah, I did. This is, this is it! The dress! This is Anna's dress! Ha! Anna! What is wrong with your head? Oh, Anna! <laughs> Anna! Sally, we found the dress. So please tell me more about Anna. Oh. She was such a good girl. She was the most beautiful girl in town. With pretty blonde hair. Everyone around her just loved her. On the night of the murder, was Anna at home? Yes, I, I think so. You think so? Uh, that day, the day she died, I stayed over at a friend's place. If only I'd been here, Anna might not have gone through... Where did you stay that night? Uh, w w uh, I was... Aha. Uh... Uh -huh. So, in other words, you have no idea what Anna was up to that night. That's wrong! She wasn't the kind of girl that would walk around at night. She was always dancing, dancing under the sun. Yes, under the pouring sunshine, like this. This woman's insane. Like, she snapped. Zach, look. A key fell from Anna's dress. Maybe we can use this to get into Anna's room. Sorry, Sally, but we're going to have to take a look in there. I don't think she'll even notice. Where's the dress? I'm assuming, you know, Anna's mother, Sally's looking for Anna's dress. Find it and give it to her. Yeah, figured. <sighs> that woman needs Jesus. All up in here. I think we need, like, at least four priests to get rid of whatever demon's possessing her.
sneak into her bedroom all like, uh... What was that noise? You got Anna's dress. Open her drawers, because I just do that for some reason. What did I just... She was at an age that craves excitement. Uh... Doesn't matter what town you're from. Girls will be girls. You know, Zach, in this wonderful country of ours, there are no good old-fashioned towns left. None at all. Day one. Today is the day of the ceremony, and I'm a little nervous about it. Day two. The first time he used it on me, it was so amazing. So exhilarating. Day three. He doesn't let anything slip. I'm really worried about Becky. Day four. Delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. So that's the last page written. It's very interesting. You can learn a lot from a diary. So we have this unnamed he, Becky, and this delivery man Q. Zack, this could be more interesting than I thought. Yep. Got Anna's diary. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Honoree's da Anna's dairy? Uh, typo in the game. Typo in the game. Okay, well. A lesbian? And the women. What's in her bathroom? Not too clear. I must say, though, I can hardly blame her. Shave. Uh, lag so yeah. I'm turning around. I'm hitting the ground. I'm shooting uh, her mounds. Okay, well, I think the issue is that for some reason it started having an upload issue with data. It was only sending, like, it started sending, like, one megabyte less data, and it was, like, just at the moment. I was like, ah, okay, I need to lower my currently sent bit rate. All right. Well, I hope the quality is still good. I don't know, but whatever. All right, since we just finished up some more stuff, and I don't know how long this episode's been going, guys, next time on Let's Play Deadly Premonition, we're going to be going on to another side quest that's opened up to for us, and possibly right after that running over to the hospital so we don't miss it. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.